Welcome everyone to another episode of the Cambridge United FIFA 23 career mode. And I'm just going to be honest, if you're watching this, you truly are such a good fan. Because this is the last episode of games for this season, and they really don't matter all that much. I mean, transfer window, James Holden's leaving, who cares? But yeah, we're playing against Ipswich. We're sticking with that same lineup. Really, all we're looking for is goals from Burroughs and Ryan, and Klein Heisler, too. Hopefully we get some results. Here are the highlights. And what can they do to stop him running at them? But the danger averted for now. Freddy Ladapo. Harness. And fed forwards. Opportunity. Ryan could cross it in here. Must be, and they've done it. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Could be a chance to break here. And he's made headway. Burrows. Will he find the net? And a goal. The equal. Back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Well, they've given him too much space. Can they take the lead here? And just the header particularly in the wide areas up to this point they've been too easy to defend against and the counter looks on here options available can he fire it towards goal what a And he has options available. And potential danger. And there it is! So we ended up winning the game 4-3. We got goals from Ryan and Klein Heisler, which is pretty much what I expected. Um, expected goals, they w did better than us, but who really cares because the game's pretty much over at this point. Sheffield Wednesday, same lineup, hoping for better results. Here. And this confrontation is underway. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Michael Smith. Windass. And Hornstrup with it. And showing fine vision. Can he put it away? And a goal! Just one. No stopping him. Now he must favour the cross. And the pass could do damage. And he's done it! Parity! And Hornstrup with it. And take it away. Possibilities in the center. Are they going to forge ahead? And a goal! Of two additional minutes. Liam Palmer. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. 
short corner favour. Can he finish this? And a goal! So we ended up losing the game 4-1. to one. Tough the way to lose your season, but let's just move on at this point. Ben Whiteman, more bad news. Towards MCL, he's out for four months. He's missing the start of next season. Just could not have ended on any worse of a note. Peter Andrews joined the team from Youth Academy. At least he's pretty promising. Adam Riley, probably a good backup left back. Mitchell has got a lot of place in front of him. Slater could be good. Beyond the league, mid-table. Next episode is going to be important because, one, there's going to be a sneak peek about what video is going to be coming next. But also, just kind of recapping the season and thinking about heading forward. But yeah, that'll be next episode. Coming out tomorrow, this episode, really just pointless because nothing really happened and nothing could have happened because we weren't fighting for promotion, we weren't doing anything. So, I mean, it's kind of how the cookie crumbles sometimes. I doubt anybody's actually watching this. If you are still watching at this point, comment anything. You can just put a single letter. I don't care. Just I want to see if people are actually still watching. So if you are, thank you for watching. And hope to see you in the next video.